they, they give me this one and get it this one. They give me the other to get. I, I am a real fighter. I am a real fighter. Like the old school. That's different, man. Last question. Um, July 29th, Earl Spence, Terence Crawford. Who wins that fight? Crawford have to kill. The <laughs> <laughs> come on, Crawford. Come on, man. You have to kill this man. <laughs> That's what I can say. I believe that Crawford will win. And I want to win. Yeah. Some, this guy sucks. Ever Spence. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> how, how would you fight him if it was you? Like, how would you uh, fight him? Oh, man. Hey, decent. Good job with decent. But if you see the skill, maybe Ever Spence have more power, but... A uh, Terran Crawford is full package. You know what I'm saying? He can he can hit, he can box, he can make defense, he can get taupa, he can get out to us. You know what I'm saying? He's, he have good feet, move. Then I believe he's a better fighter. Yeah. Okay. How does that end? That knockout decision? What? I don't really know. I don't really know, man. You know, it starts to uh, to fight. I say I wanna uh, this guy win, but it's to fight. It's still to fight. You know? Okay. The aerospace is tough, but. Hey, I will let Crawford be beating this man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, I appreciate it. I like that, too. Yeah. Last question, Michaela. Uh, friend of yours, Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Big fight against Earl Smith, July 29th. Uh, biases aside, who you got in that fight? Um, well, I came up with, with Errol Spence and the amateurs, so you know, I'm a big fan of his, too. You know, Coach Al's had me study his body work, his jab. I just think that Crawford is a little bit more versatile. Like you don't necessarily know what he's going to do. He switches lefty, righty, crap punches, coming from all different angles. And so that makes him a little bit harder to train for. And if I had to pick a winner, even though I think he's going to be very competitive, I'm going to give it to Crawford. Decision stoppage. God, with two guys like that, it's hard to see one of them going down. Mm. Um, but Crawford's strong as hell, trust me. I've, I've just getting a punch from him in the arm is like... Um, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a stoppage, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to pick. That's why everyone wanted to see this fight, right? Because yeah. it's such a competitive fight, and it's not one-sided in any by any means. And these are the type of fights that we want to see. These are the type of fights that women, that boxing means. Women are doing it. Facts. Facts. <laughs> women are making these fights fast yeah. too. So. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you back in the ring. Thank, Thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, Paul. Jermaine, there's a big fight July 29th. Um, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. How do you see that fight going? Not Crawford. You said that fast. Yo, you ain't have to think about it. Crawford. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody asked me. I've thought about it before I got Crawford. Okay. What, do you, what do you see that gives Crawford the edge? He's just very more versatile. More versatile. He can switch. He switches up his tempo. He has a lot. In his arsenal. So, give him to him. How would you fight Earl Spence if it was you? If it was me, I'll fight how I fight. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, a lot in my arsenal as well. To each other. And it's all about playing chess and just trying to stay ahead. Stay ahead uh, of what your opponent is trying to do. And just reading them very well. And uh, Crawford, I could say, is sometimes pretty difficult to, to read because he has an IQ where he'll switch it up on you when you least expect it. You know, and I'll say the same thing on myself. But, uh, I ain't going that deep into studying them. You know, I'm studying myself and my gotcha. future opponents. I appreciate you, Jermaine. Thanks, man. No problem. I like that. Um, last question. Big fight. Everybody wants to know about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford. 50 50 fight. Um, yeah, best man win. I got a relationship with both of them, but I got more relationship with uh, Spence. But they don't still dictate who I'm going to pick, you know. They're both tough fighters. Um, they're both hella fighters. And I don't know, actually, to be honest. I just, I feel like, man, the best man win is a 50-50 fight. And whoever wins is going to be the better one that night. If they do a rematch, then we'll see. You've been to big fights. Like, what's the preparation like preparing for... You know, a, a mega fight or a championship fight? Um, there's no difference. It's all the same. If you're a true fighter, it's all the same. Um, you got to train your ass off no matter who the fight is. To some people, it may be more pressure, more pressure. But for me, I get big, I get up for bigger fights. I get up for bigger fights. I do more. Even though every training camp is still hard, 
like they should, but for bigger fights for me. But some people don't get up for big fights. Some people do, I don't know how they go, but I feel like it's all the same. You, you bust your ass with a C fighter, the same way you can do for an A fighter. Simple. Okay. Thanks, Steph. I appreciate you. My boy, appreciate it, man.